Hi Luke from Korg here at Absolute Music. Today we're looking at the Tactile. This is the Tactile 25, brand new controller keyboard. There's also a 49 key version available. The only difference being the 49 key one has 16 pads, this one has eight, and the 49 key one also has eight pots above the faders. Otherwise, identical, slightly different layout, but the functionality I show you here is exactly the same on the Big Brother as well. So, let's take a listen. So the Tactile comes preloaded with maps for all the major DAWs and today I'm using Logic. So um, when I load it up with Logic, as you can see, everything is instantly mapped. So all my faders move together, transport controls. So I can fast forward, rewind, turn on and off my loop points. I can also assign the but buttons below the faders to do what I want, it could be solo or mute in this case. See that muting the parts or arming for recording. So that's all standard stuff. You've got over on the right side pads, so I can play my drum sounds in this case. Really nice feeling pads and velocity sensitive as well. Plus in the middle there, you've got the, the thing which makes this instrument unique, it's a, basically a chaos pad, one of Korg's chaos pads in the middle. It's an XY controller. So if I dial up, say, a nice synth sound, I can then fill my way through the sound with the XY pad. And crucially, the sound remains where I leave it. So it's a great, great way to perform sound design um, by filling your way through the sound. Also, you can press trackpad and it then becomes the mouse on the screen. So you can use it for that, which is a great workflow thing. Also the, the ribbon below is usually for data input, but here it's left click and right click on the screen. So really nicely integrated from a music production workflow point of view. And then you can just go back to your control and then you should filter again, so nice and easy. It can even be, if you want it to be, select a different instrument, your touch scale. Um, so you can put it onto touch scale. So you use it like a chaosolator then to play scales. You can set the key, you can set the scale to whatever you want to do. So again, a different way of being creative with your music. Some great plugins which come with um, our package as well. So you've got Easy Drummer, which you've seen there. So you've got a nice uh, Easy Drummer light, which comes included. You've also got our M1 LE, with all those classic kind of M1 sounds. Take a look at that, there it is. So Organ 2, very famous sound there. Lounge Lizard, great electric pianos. fully tweak as well. You've also got this nice acoustic guitar plugin called Strum Acoustic. Which voices your, your chords just like a guitar would. Great for guitar programming. And you've also got Ultra Analog, which you just heard there. And this is great for synths. So um, I also wanted to tell you about the arpeggiator built into the tactile. So if I select one of these synth sounds from this plugin, uh, like the, an 80s bass sort of sound. Select the right track. There we go. I could turn on the arpeggiator and it'll arpeggiate that. And you've got different types, so just up and down. Again, you can use your XY pad to tweak that out while it's playing. Okay, so another great way of using the tactile is as a standalone MIDI controller, not necessarily with your computer, although of course you can. Um, it's bus powered via USB, but that also means you can use any USB power supply, plug it straight into the wall, like, this, like the type you might use to charge up your phone, for example. And then you can use it as a standalone MIDI controller, use a physical MIDI out, because it has MIDI in and out, so it's a separate MIDI interface as well. Um, 
and I've got it plugged into my Volca keys here. As I said earlier, by default, you've got lots of scenes inbuilt and you've got basic MIDI, but then you've got Cubase, Digital Performer, GarageBand, Live, Logic, Pro Tools, Sonar, all by default. But you can also create your own using the Chord Control Editor on a computer. So it's free download from Chord.com. What that allows you to do is to reassign all of this and save it as a template and then beam it across via USB into here. You can give it a name. So as you can see here, I've called mine Volker Keys and it's already set up. Um, if I do need to reassign it, you can just use the software to do that very easily, as you can see on the screen. So there's my sound from the Volker Keys. All of these faders, for instance, are set to something. So fader number one, if I move it, you can see the attack is moving. So that's been set. And it also tells me it's CC49 on my OLED screen now, which is great. So I can change the attack. I can change stuff like the effects, the feedback, and also the time. The LFOs. Let's turn that onto a triangle wave. Change the rate. What's really neat, again, you've got your XY controller, so I can set that to two different parameters. You can see the X axis is cut off. The Y axis actually isn't assigned at the moment. So once you've set that as it is in your door, uh, in, your, in your software, just save it. You can give the template a name and then it's saved in the hardware, which is great. So then if you're playing it live away from your computer, all of that is automatically synced, which is great. So that was the Tactile Controllers. Thanks for listening. If you need any more information about these, just go to www.absolutemusic.co.uk and search for Tactile. Thanks for listening.